Right now I'm going to show you the RAM-HOL-GA39, which is the RAM mount custom cradle for the Garmin Nuvi 3700 series GPS. First thing I want to do is show you the back of this cradle. And you can see here there's a diamond plate shape on the back with two holes. And what that's for is connecting this cradle to an existing RAM mount. And what it does is it matches up to one of these plates in this shape. Uh, this particular one's the RAM-B-238. And you can see there the diamond plate just matches up perfectly to the cradle plate. And then you have the two holes now ready for the hardware. The hardware is included with this cradle, but this uh, plate I'm showing you here is not. So using this, if you're buying this uh, cradle separately, the hardware will mount to any existing mount you have that has a diamond shape end. Or if you want to, you can buy this as a complete kit with the cradle and the diamond plate. Uh, the arm and a suction cup in this case or you can get a u-bolt whatever it is type uh, Amount you want for a motorcycle or this one for a vehicle windshield They connect together you use this arm here to tighten it up and what that does is tightens that ball and socket joint right here You've got the diamond plate in the back of your cradle and there you have a suction cup that can come off your windshield that you can very easily uh, twist and move around to make it fit however you want to on your vehicle so that's a complete system and that's how this cradle would connect to a complete system so going back to just the cradle as I said it comes with a cradle and some hardware I'll show you the front of the cradle and what you've got here is a cutaway in the back of the cradle with a little male uh, ball there that's designed to allow you to connect the Garmin cradle into the RAM cradle but first things first I just want to show you if you're looking to use just your GPS in the RAM cradle you can you can just put it straight in leaving this vacant and not putting in the Garmin cradle that comes with the GPS this is fine if you want to just use your GPS on its battery its internal battery because once in here without the Garmin cradle you can't charge this GPS so this would work fine if that's how you want to use it you do know if you want to do charge uh, if you want to charge your GPS while in the RAM cradle, which is through this port here on the cradle, you will need to put this Garmin cradle into the RAM cradle. So let's take the GPS out by lifting this little notch and rolling the GPS out. And I'm going to show you how to put this Garmin cradle into the RAM cradle. So I've turned it upside down to just show you how it all works. And what you need to do is take this little notch on the top of the Garmin cradle slip it in behind the roller so it goes in behind and it actually goes into the recess that's made by this little lump so here's the lump and inside here there's the recess and it just goes into that little slot and then we're going to push this gps in that's uh, sorry the gps cradle in towards the top and then back towards the back of the ram cradle so what we're actually going to do is we're going to flex this little neck here so that's what we're going to do when we put it in so again we put it in behind the roller and then we just push it in and back so I pushed it in and then back at the same time now it went in but you can see it's still raised a bit outside of the ram cradle so what you do is just get your fingers on this diamond plate thumbs on the other side and clip it in so now that's all flush in there perfectly ready for my GPS so to put the GPS in, it's as simple as lining up these pins with the pins on the Garmin cradle that's inside the RAM cradle and dropping that in, pushing it down so now you can see they're all connected and then what we want to do is push the GPS back in to the roller so we just lift it slightly and push it in, there we have it, it's now in there connected. Now as I mentioned you have the USB port exposed uh, that will power this GPS so taking the USB cigarette lighter adapter that came with the purchase of the GPS as did the cradle, the uh, Garmin cradle. I can now slip this USB into that port. Uh, bear with me. Oops, there we go. That goes in there like so. And now that that's in there and clipped in, I can actually lift this and remove the GPS without having to worry about removing this USB. So once I've got it all connected, I can wire it up in my car with a suction or dashboard mount or to my motorcycle with any of the handlebar motorcycle mount. And once it's all hooked up, I don't have to keep disconnecting everything in there. So I can just drop it in and it will get the charge once my vehicle's turned on. Just lift that notch, push it in. So there we go. 
that's how it works. Now, to remove your Garmin cradle, if that's what you feel you need to do, you've got to take the USB out, USB port out, and pull this Garmin cradle out of the RAM cradle. One thing I want to say though is I wouldn't do this all the time. I wouldn't be pulling in and out as a regular thing because the clip that holds it in there is quite tight uh, for good reason, but you just don't want to be popping it in and out. Uh, so if you are, if you have a use for both, you might want to buy another one of these uh, Garmin cradles if that's what you need. But to remove it, it's the opposite of what we did before. But we're going to push it out and down at the same time too. So as we push out, we push down and it clips straight out. Now that sounded fairly easy, but if you do it on a regular basis, it's just not the right thing to be popping it in and out. It's best just leaving it in there and using the RAM cradle as your good cradle. So there you have it. That's the RAM-HOL-GA39 RAM mount custom cradle for the Garmin Nuvi 3700 series.